فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم نمبر 3 بس by accepting elections and democracy my beloved brothers and sisters is that you're allowing the disbelievers to throw accusation against the sharia that it's deficient that it can't do its job are you with me when the muslims jump on the bandwagon of elections and democracy the disbelievers look at the muslims and they say to them you see how this system is what the world needs sharia law sharia law is not what's right you guys are affirming it look at it you're jumping on the you're jumping on the bandwagon And Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala told us the religion of Islam is not deficient and it's a complete religion. Al yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa raditu lakum al-Islam deena. I have completed my religion unto you. Are you with me? And I have established my blessing unto you and I have become pleased with Islam as a religion for you. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala's religion as I said before cannot be deficient. How can it be deficient? It's based upon what knowledge of that which was that which is happening. that which is to happen in the future and even that which has it happened if it was to happen how it would have happened but by you taking democracy and elections is you actually allowing islam to be criticized and allah says to the prophet wala ya'tunaka bi mathalin illa ja'alaka bil haqqi wa ahsana tafsira muhammad they don't bring you any par- parables they don't bring you any argumentations They don't bring forward anything except we bring you better and more greater. Also Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says وَكَذَلِكَ نُفَصِّلُ الْآيَاتِ وَلِتَسْتَبِيلَ سَبِيلُ الْمُجْرِمِينَ We clarify the verses for you so the paths of the criminals become clear for you. Also Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says إِنَّ هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ يَهْدِي لِلَّتِي هِي أَقْوَى This Qur'an is the one that guides the best of affairs. Allah says in another ayah أَوَلَمْ يَكْفِهِمْ Is it not enough for them? And the Anzalla alayka al-kitab that we have set down on you in the Qur'an. Yutla alayhim, it is read unto them. Inna fi thalika la rahma. In this there's mercy. Wa dhikra reminder. Liqawmin to a people who are believers. Allah says, فَمَاذَا بَعْدَ الْحَقِّ إِلَّا الضَّلَالِ What is after the truth except this guidance? Allah says, وَنَزَّلَّا إِلَيْكَ الذِّكْرَ لِتُبَيِّنَ وَنَزَّلَّا إِلَيْكَ الذِّكْرَ لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ Sorry, Allah says, وَنَزَّلَّا عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَةِ بِيَانًا لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ وَهُدًا وَرَحْمًا وَبُشَّرًا لِلْمُسْلِمِينَ Allah says, we have sent down you the book. تِبْيَانًا لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ It clarifies, it explains everything for you. وَهُدًا is mercy, a guidance. وَرَحْمًا it is a mercy. وَبُشَّرًا it is glad tidings for the believers. Allah says in the ayah, مَا فَرَّطْنَا فِي الْكِتَابِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ We have not left anything in this book. ثُمَّ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يُحْشَرُونَ So the Qur'an is something that came and it clarified everything. And our messenger, alayhi salatu wa sallam, what did he say? مَا بَعْثَ اللَّهُ Allah has not sent down مِنْ نَبِيٍ أَيْ prophet إِلَّا كَالَ حَقَّنَ عَلَيْهِ أَنْ يَدُلُّ أُمَّتَهُ عَلَىٰ خَيْرِ مَا يَعْلَمُهُمْ لَهُمْ Allah did not send a prophet. Except it was obligatory on him to sh- tell his ummah every good there is that he knows and to warn them of every evil that he knows is going to come are you with me brothers brothers the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam he said allah did not send a prophet except it was upon him it was binding obligatory on that prophet to tell his people every good he knows and to warn them of every harm he knows Did the Prophet ﷺ tell us to elect? Did he, if this was something we needed to do, and it was something that was going to happen, why didn't he tell us ﷺ? Because you can't say elections are a minute issue, why would he be speaking about it? You yourself are saying it's not a light issue. You're saying it's farad, it's wajib, wajib. That the person who leaves it is aathim, sinah. A'udhu billah. From it being shirk billah, it turned to wajib. A'udhu billah. But rather, look what he told us. Rather, what he told us is not election. He told us, تَرَكْتُ فِيكُمْ شَيْئَيْنِ I have left two things with you. لَن تَضِلُّ بَعْدَهُمَا You are never misguided after them. What is it? كِتَابُ اللَّهِ The Book of Allah. وَسُنَّةِ أَمَّا سُنَّةِ 
Those are the two things I've left for you. Salvation is in those. Judge by those. Live by those. Implement those. <coughs> Number four. The fourth harm that democracy and election has is what? The concept of is watered. Everybody who has tasted the sweetness of an Iman, it is not hidden from him. That loving is for Allah and His Messenger and the allies of Allah. And hate is for the enemies of Allah and the Messenger and his, and his allies. And Allah mentions that in many verses. إنما وليكم الله ورسوله والذين آمنوا الذين يقيمون الصلاة ويؤتون الزكاة وهم راكعون ومن يتولى الله ورسوله والذين آمنوا فإن حزب الله هم الغالبون your, your ally, your allegiance is to who? your aider, your supporter is who? Allah and his messenger والذين آمنوا in الله الذين the ones يقيمون الصلاة they establish the prayer ويؤتون الزكاة and they give زكاة وهم راكعون and they are in a state of ركوع وَمَنْ يَتَوَلَّ اللَّهَ Pay attention. Anyone who takes Allah and his messenger and the believers as his allies فَإِنَّ حِزْبَ اللَّهُمُ الْغَالِبُونَ The group of Allah are the victorious one. غالب. Democracy is the opposite to that. How are we going to find غلبة? How are we going to find الغلبة? The opposite is what it is. Allah is promising us الغلبة to the believers. When, he, when, they, when they come with what? When they come with wala for Allah and His Messenger and the believers and they disconnect themselves from the enemies of Al Islam. When they disconnect themselves from the enemies of. Today, the fact that I hold this opinion today that the elections are haram, and I believe it is what I'm mentioning here, based on that, I will find for my own Muslim brothers. Al-Bughdu, Wal-Karahat, Wal-Tawalli, wal All of that to me. All of that. What brought that problem? What brought that problem? What brought it, inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to be speaking about it in the Shubuhat later. Is <coughs> because the issue of Al-Wala'i wal bara has no value. It has no value in what? In the issue of election and whatnot. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says to us, Qul in kana abaukum, wa abanaukum, wa ikhwanukum, wa azwajukum, wa ashiratukum, wa amwalun iqtaraftumuha, wa tijaratun takshawna kasada, wa masakin wa tarudona, a habba ilaykum min Allah wa rasul wa jihadi fi sabili, fatarabbasu hata yati Allah bi amri, wallahu la yadil qum al fasikin. Allah tells us in his verse, if your fathers, your children, your brothers, your wives, your family members, your wealth which you have gained through trading and whatnot, all of that is more pleasing to you and more beloved to you than Allah and His Messenger. And jihad fi sabili and striving in the path of Allah, ta'ala, fighting also in the path of Allah. Allah says, فَتَرَبَّصُوا Wait around. حَتَّى يَأْتِي اللَّهُ بِأَمْنِي So Allah can bring His destruction onto you all. وَاللَّهُ لَا يَهْدِي الْقَوْمَ الْفَاسِقِينَ Allah does not guide transgressive individuals. So what does this ayah tell us? If you listen to, Wallahi, I was listening to this discussion that was happening in the issue of democracy and the elections and the, the one who propagates that Muslims should elect and that is obligatory. This year he said it's obligatory that the Muslims elect. What's sad is that when I was listening to the whole discussion and I was listening to what the arguments that were being brought, guess one of the arguments that if you look at the Muslim neighborhoods, the rubbishes and um, the way it looks is because the MPs are not doing their job. They وَتِجَارَةٍ تَخْشَوْنَكَ سَادَهَا وَمَسَاكِنُ تَرْضَوْنَهَا أَحَبَّ إِلَيْكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ دَرَاهِمَ مَعْدُودَ Just so you can, your houses can look good. Really, the truth of the matter, why election is needed, is why. Have you heard from them that Nusrat to Deen Allah, Ta'ala, the religion of Allah is going to go up? Do you hear that from them? Rather, they say if you get elected through democracy, like one of them, he said, Erdogan, who is the Turkish leader, he doesn't have to judge by the Book of Allah. He doesn't have to. Because the people chose him, why did they choose him? To judge them by this constitution and this democracy. A'udhu Billah. A'udhu Billah. 
even he himself, Erdogan, he said, I want a secular state. Clearly, I don't want no Khilafah. What are you talking about Khilafah? Secular state. And you know what's funny? As the poet said, Aramatri bidaiha wa sallat. You threw your illness at me and you ran away. <coughs> what it is is that they say that, inshallah ta'ala, when I give the advice later, I'm going to be speaking about it more. Which is the way we say that it should be tackled, this issue. They say, you guys, your arguments is a secularist argument. You're kind of dividing the sharia from the Wallahi. Why? By saying democracy, and that is Islam, democracy is based upon secular. The people are the ones who judge. Where are you bringing the religion from? Democracy is what? The secular concept. It's nothing to do with Islam. And you're saying right now that he doesn't even have to judge by the Book of Allah. So you're saying secular should govern the people. And democracy should. Wallahi, I've never seen anybody who goes against the Haqq who's consistent upon what he says. Allah says in the Quran, Every time a person goes against the truth, you find they are upon, they are upon confusion. Within the first part of his, the, the video I watched, in the middle, in the first part he goes, we don't even need to prove evidence, and we don't even, it's mubah asalatan. And then you go, the Sahabas did it. The Sahaba, Bakr and Umar. If Abu Bakr and Umar did it, we were told to follow them, so it becomes wajib. But then you just said it's mubah. I've never seen anyone who goes against the Dalil except what? Confusion. Confusion. And the only way to be consistent, my beloved brothers and sisters, is to follow the Kitab and the Sunnah. These people are the best of generation. These are the best of generation. You don't have to go out of your way to use your brain too much and think in it sufficed. Wallahi, you sufficed. Qif, haythu waqaf al qawm. Stand where the people stood. Don't exceed them. <coughs> so, really, the issue of democracy and election in this country today is so the believers can just get extra rice and bread. Nah, that's what it really is. So, we're going to go against all of these mafasid just so we can have extra bread and the prices of the breads can go down. Nah. Um, I just say to that individual, Wallahi tub ilallah, repent to Allah. Wallahi tub ilallah. These statements are very dangerous and they're, they're very serious con statements. And Wallahi, it is not aib, it's not a problem a yatub al mar that a Muslim to repent ila rabbi to his Lord. We see Wahshi, who killed Qatil Hamza. He killed Hamza, but when he came into Islam, what did he say? I today, I'm going to repent from what I did in my days of disbelief. And he killed another person, Musaylama, al kadab So he expiated for them. So repent by propagating the Sharia should be implemented. <coughs> and wallahi, we're not saying in any way, form or shape that these people are kuffar. Abadan, ma naqulu hada, ma'ad Allah. We seek refuge in Allah to say that. But what I do say is, asa'u ila al-Islam. Wallahi, they have caused harm to Islam by these actions and these statements of this. And what is open for them is a tawbah. This is the path for who kullu mudnibin, every person who has committed a shortcoming and a sin, was sadiqin and is truthful. Wallahi, the truthful person will always come back to Allah. Wallahu al-musta'an, Wallahu al-musta'an. The next, the next harm that it has is we don't even know if the election is going to take place. All of it is based upon مجرد الظن والتخمين والأوهام It's all just based upon speculation and assumption. You all know what happened recently in... What happened? Donald Trump. Donald Trump is an example for you. The Muslims all voted for what? Hillary Clinton. I don't know if she was worse or Donald Trump. I don't know. How have you divided between the two? The point is that the point I'm saying, brothers, is what? Did it work? So you want me to fall into these mafasid based upon what? 
O Ham, delusion, speculation and assumption. And Allah rebuked the people for that. Allah says, That they follow speculation and assumption and that which their nafs is in desires with. Allah says, وَإِن تُطِعَ أَكْثَرَ مَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ يُضِلُّكَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ إِيَّا تَبِعُونَ إِلَّا الظَّنَّ وَإِنْهُمْ إِلَّا يَخْرُصُونَ Allah says, the Prophet says to us, إِيَّاكُمْ وَالظَّنِّ فَإِنَّ الظَّنَّ أَكْثَبُ الْحَدِيثِ Stay away and be cautious of speculation and assumption. For verily, speculation and assumption is أَكْذَبُ الْحَدِيثِ It's the greatest form of lie. They can't even promise you. They can't say to you, yes, 100% we're going to get this seat. They can't. They know they can't. Well, I, and I want to say, brothers, to you, do you really think to yourselves, do you really, really think that these kuffar who open the channel and the path of these elections, that it's going to work against them? It's not going to work against them. Oh, yeah, it's not going to work against them. They're going to have their power and their strength within. Are you there? Because if this person comes in, even if he does get elected and he gets chosen and he comes in, there's a constitution in front of him. He has to judge by this constitution. Are you with me? And then this constitution interpretation is not even in his hands, it's in the hands of the people. Does that make sense? So when he does come into power, my beloved brothers and sisters, the truth of the matter is, Neither can he lessen the harm. Are you there? Neither or can he what? Or can he even judge by the book of Allah? Wallahi, the one who says to you, through democracy, I'm going to judge by Allah's book, is a person who is either lying or is a person who doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't know what's coming out of his head. He doesn't know what's coming out of his head. And that, inshallah ta'ala, we're going to speak about it when we speak about the shubuhat that they bring. The next method that he has is that مخالفت منهج الرسول This is actually in opposition to the Prophet's methodology عليه الصلاة والسلام In what? في كيفية مواجهة الأعداء How the Prophet وسلم, he faced and dealt with the enemies of Islam Are you with me brothers? How is it that the Prophet وسلم, dealt with these individuals? The way he dealt with them عليه الصلاة والسلام was to oppose them That's how he dealt with them Not to, not to join them Isn't that the case? When he came to Medina, he didn't say to them, listen, let's work together, let's be friends. He didn't say that, He was distinct and unique and he was known to oppose them. Even they admit that. Even in the things that were legislated in our religion, and it's, a, it's an ibadah of our religion, he, he went against them in that way he does it. For example, the fasting of Ashura. What did the Prophet say? In ishtu ila qabilin. If I live the next year to come, I will fast on the ninth. Ah, I will oppose these people. They only fast on the tenth, I'm going to oppose them by fasting on the ninth. Look at it. قَدْ نَرَى تَقَلُّبَ وَجْهِكَ فِي السَّبَاءِ فَلَا نُوَلِّيَ لَكَ قِبْلَةً تَرْضَاهَا فَوَلِّي وَجْهَكَ شَطْرَ لِلْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ وَحَيْثُ مَا كُنْتُمْ فَوَلُّوا وُجُوهَكُمْ شَطْرَ <coughs> That the Prophet ﷺ, he wanted to turn to the Kaaba. That was where his desires was. And that's what he wanted. He used to look at the sky. Allah says, Qadannara, we see taqalluba wa chika. We see your face turning around in the sky. Because he was waiting for the revelation. He's like, when is it going to come? Allah then says, فَلَنُوَلِّيَنَّكَ We're going to turn you to qiblatan tarbaha, a qibla which pleases you. Then Allah says, فَوَلِّي وَجْهَكَ الشَّطْرَ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ Why was it that he hated it? Because it pleased the Yehudi that were there. It pleased them. They said, Muhammad this is in, mashallah, Bait al-Maqdis, oh, a place. So our messenger alayhi salatu wasalam, the way he dealt with these people and the way he was, it was not this methodology that these people are taking. It was to distinguish himself from them and to not be with them. And we all know qawluhu ta'ala, the statement of Allah, قُلْ يَا أَهْلِ قُلْ يَا أَيُّ الْكَافِرُونَ لَا أَعْبُدُ مَا تَعْبُدُونَ وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَبِدُونَ مَا أَعْبُدُ وَلَا أَنَا أَعْبِدُ مَا عَبَدْتُمْ وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَبِدُونَ مَا أَعْبُدْ لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ the people of democracy and elections, we need to say, لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ وَلِيَدِينَ Are you there? I believe my religion should govern the world. You believe yours. لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ وَلِيَدِينَ We can't come together. There's no way to bring us together. There's no way to bring us together. One or the other. (coughs) 
The next mafsada that it has is that intikhabat, elections, is a wasila, it's a means which is prohibited. Are you there? Election is what the, they say today is al ghaya to tubarriru al-wasila. Sah? al ghaya to tubarriru al-wasila. Those who are saying election, it, election is ba- it's trying to say the means justify the ends. Those who are trying to fool the people by saying to them, that we're bringing about the judgment of Allah. Some of them are actually clear now, alhamdulillah. They've told the people, it's become clear to the people. They've told them, we don't, we're not even heading towards judging by the law of Allah. We're not heading that direction. But those who are still lying to the people who are saying to them that the law of Allah is coming from this. Or, we're lessening the harm. We're not trying to bring the law of Allah, but we're lessening the harm. They're, what they're trying to say is that even though it's a means which is haram, it justifies the goal. Are you with me, brothers? Is this qa'idah a qa'idah that we can accept? Are you with me, brothers? This qa'idah is a qa'idah suhuyuniyya. Qa'idah, Zionist qa'idah. It's a principle that they believe. Our religion, the qa'idah that it believes is al-wasail lahkamul maqasid. We believe the means has the ruling of the goal. If the goal is haram, the means is also haram. Are you with me, brothers? That's what we believe. <coughs> I ask each and every one of you to look at the book written by Ibn al-Qayyim al jawziyya his I'lam. He mentions 99 evidences of matters which are haram. Are you with me? The means are haram because of the goal. 99. 99. One is all I'm going to take, which is that the Prophet prohibited building graves. Why did he build, prohibit building graves? Because it's a means to what? A means to shirk. It's a means to what? Shirk. Also, Elections divides the believers and it weakens them and it takes away their unity because who is good for the Muslims is a subjective are you there? I might for example look at the Conservative Party and say their foreign affairs is better than the Labour's foreign affairs but the Muslims within the UK Labour might be better for them and Conservative may may not be good for the Muslims in the country. Are you there? <coughs> so what is it that governs, which one is best? No, for you to say that, when you're saying that, we have to elect this. On what grounds have you built that these, this, this, this party is good for the Muslims? Are you there? And since everybody's way of looking at things is not the same, you cause division amongst the Muslims. And you break their sufuf. And wallahi, the Prophet, as, as, wallahi, you're not able to people and bring them together unless, they, unless you unite them on a religion. As Allah says in the Quran, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ فَرَّقُوا دِينَهُمْ وَكَانُوا شِيعًا لَسْتَ مِنْهُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ إِنَّمَا أَمُرْهُمْ إِلَى اللَّهِ ثُمَّ يُنَبِّئُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَفْعَلُونَ Allah says, those who have divided in their religion, they've gone against each other. وَكَانُوا شِيعًا And they became groups. لَسْتَ مِنْهُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ You have nothing to do with them, Muhammad. Are you with me, brothers? Brothers, pay attention. What is it that they went against each other on? Their religion. And based on that, they became what? Disunited groups. They differed in their religion, and Allah straight away said, وَكَانُوا شِيَعًا They became what? They became groups. لَسْتَ مِنْهُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ You have nothing to do with what? With them. So pay attention, brothers, pay attention. What did I say before? Democracy is based upon what? Majority, right? Either the Rafidi may see a maslaha in the conservative. The people aren't united. Because the Rafidi, he sees that Iran and the conservative can work together. Either Fulan is this. Either. So he believes that this country and etc. 
Well, that, one of the things that shocked me about one of the discussions that I was watching uh, on one of those individuals who were saying that election should be done and it's obligatory this year. And it's sad. The questioner who was putting the question to him, he said, why is it that there is no united uh, uh, effort that should be taken that should be taken in order to bring about the correct results? There's no unity. Allah, the response that was given, and I thought this question was valid. This is it. Why is the other Muslims not united? And for that, are you there? When we become united, are you with me, brothers? Then we have a strength. Then we can start thinking about the issue of majority and the election and whatnot. Sah? Based on their argument, of course. They said, we don't need to do that. Not at all. Putting our efforts in that is unnecessary. A'udhu Billah. And we're saying uniting the people means bringing them all back to the religion. That would unite them. Because the ayah says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ فَرَّقُوا دِينَهُمْ They differed in their religion. وَكَانُوا شِعَانَ And based on that, they became groups. Based on that, they became groups. So here, if you can't even bring the Muslims together, and they can't sit together, because they all hold different opinions and different views. Are you there, brothers? How is it that you can bring a... Well, that, if you look at what happened to Mursi in Egypt, are you there? Mursi came through in Egypt. How did he come through? How did he come about? He came through a democratic election. He was elected. Sahih. Are you there? After that, what did they do to him? They played, him, they played a game on him. They got the people to go against him. Because the issue of democracy is what? Pay attention. When Ikhwan al-Muslimin went against Hosni Mubarak, pay attention. I want you to understand this point. When Ikhwan al-Muslimin, uh, sorry, they went, when they went against Hosni Mubarak, It was a Torah, they got rid of him. They went. When uh, Mursi, when Mursi, the people were against him, they started being the hadith of the Prophet, don't go against the Muslim leader and whatnot. But that wasn't used for Mubarak. That wasn't used for Mubarak. But the secularists laughed. They said, Yesterday, you guys came through selection, election, right? And you came through what? The choice of the, the people. And here are the people now in Trafalgar, uh, sorry, in uh, Tahrir Square. They don't want you. What are you going to do? And they're the ones who legislate. And they're the ones who have Sultatu to at Tashri'i. They're the ones who execute it. They're the legislature. They're the judicial system. Ah, all of them at Tahrir Square. They don't want you. Khalas, you have to go down. Wasn't it right? The understanding of the ulama, which is at tasfiya to at tarbiya. Nurturing the people upon Tawheed and Aqeedah, Sahiha. <coughs> and the methodology of the Salaf al Salih, Ridwanullah, Ali Ajwain. Are you there? Brothers, would that problem have occurred? They divided the people. That's how they got what they wanted. And it was all a game. All of it was a game. The secularists were playing a game from the get go. But from the outer, what did they show it? That they are following democracy. So we say, "Inna ladina farraku dina huma kanu shi'an lasta minhu fi shay." We have nothing to do with them. We have nothing to do with them. So lasta minhu fi shay. You have nothing to do with them. Oh, oh, Muhammad. The next one is. The person who's been elected, the candidate who's been chosen, is only going to speak. He's only going to speak irda'un nakhibin. He's only going to speak to please the people who are going to elect him. He'll say whatever they want to hear. He'll lie to them. He'll promise them. He'll even say to them, Do you guys want this law that goes against Allah? Shara? I'll do it for you. As Allah said, Yahlifuna billahi lakum li irdukum. Wallahu wa rasulu haqwa yurduhu in kutum. In kanu mu'minin. In kanu. 
They will promise the people that we will go even against the Sharia of Allah. The law of Allah will go against it to please you guys. We'll do anything for you guys. Choose us. Sah? Once they get chosen, what do they do? They turn their backs. You don't see of them anymore. So they'll say what they want. Last but not least. The last mafsada is <coughs> election and democracy's concern is number. Quantity, not the quality. It is quantity, not quality. And we know Allah Taala rebuked him. He said, "Wa in tuti akthala min fil ardi yudiluka an sabi lillah, iya tabi'una illa dhanna wa inhum illa yakhrusun. Wama wajna wama wajna li akthari min ahad. Wa in wajna akthari min fasiqin. Rabbi innahu na adlalna kathira min nasi. Faman tabi'ani fa inhum minni wa man asani fa inka ghafur rahim. La khair fi kathiri min najwahum illa man amara bi sadaqat al ma'roof." أو إصلاح بين الناس يا أيها الذين آمنوا إن كثيرا من الأحبار والرهبان لا يأكلون أموال الناس بالباطل ويصدون عن سبيل الله اعلموا أن من حياة الدنيا لعب وله وزينة وتفاخر بينكم وتكاثر في الأموال والأولاد so if you look at the Quran the أكثرية are what Allah تبارك وتعالى rebukes Allah says to the Prophet if you obey the majority of the people they will misguide you from the straight path are you there? The ones who Allah praise are the minority. What does He say? كم من فئة قليلة غلبت فئة كثيرة بإذن الله. How many who are little in number have overcome a lot who are in number with the permission of Allah? وقليل من عباد الشكور. Little of my slaves are the ones who are gratitude, show gratitude to you. وإن كثير من الخلطاء لا يبغي بعضهم إلى على بعض إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا صالحة وقليل ما هم. Allah says, وَإِنَّ كَثِيرًا مِنَ الْخُلَطَى لَيَبْغِي بَعْضُهُمْ إِلَى بَعْضٍ عَلَى بَعْضٍ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا صَالِحَاتِ وَقَلِيلٌ مَّهُمْ Little are they, right? The ones who are what? الَّذِي إِلَّا الَّذِي آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا صَالِحَاتِ Allah says, وَقَلِيلٌ مَّهُمْ Little are those. Also, Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He tells us in the Quran, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells us that يَأْتِ عَلَى النَّاسِ زَمَانُ الْمُتَمَسِّكُ بِدِينِكَ الْقَابِضُ عَلَى الْجَبْرَةِ This goes to come a time. أما بدأ الإسلام غريبا وسوف يعود غريبا كما بدأ فطوبة للغرباء They're strangers. Strange here is because they're little, they're few in number, they're rarely seen, so they're strange. <coughs> Are you with me? And we know the famous hadith of the Prophet where he said, يُشَكُ أَنْ تَدَاعَ عَلَيْكُمُ الْأُمَمُ كَذَا تَدَاعَ الْأَكَلَةُ إِلَىٰ قَصْعَتِهَا That the nations are going to call onto one another, onto you, like you call onto food that you're eating. Say, everybody come eat, let's munch together. The Kabbalah said, أَوَ مِنْ قِلَّةِ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ حَلُمْ Are we literally number that day? The Prophet said, لا, لا. Little dog, that doesn't happen to little, little, little people. وَلَكِنَّكُمْ غُثَى كَغُثَى إِسَّيْلِ You are like the foam. Allah places in the hearts of your enemies, and Allah places in your hearts, الْوَهْلُ وَيُزَعْ الرَّعْبُ مِنْ قُلُوبِ عَدْوِكُمْ And Allah takes the terror and the fear out of the hearts of your enemies. Why? لِحُبِّكُمُ الدُّنْيَا Because you love the dunya. وَكَرَاهِيَتِكُمُ الْمَوْتِ And you dislike Election is what? Hubbu dunya. What else? Little positions and whatnot. A lot of these people, if you look at it, who say, Wallahi, this is all for Allah's religion. Wallahi, if you observe their situation and you look at them, a lot of them are on funds and they're getting paid by that party. And not only that, that party is promising them after they get into power that they're going to give them money. Checks. Ah. Oh. So they say, okay, I promise I'll make sure my community chooses you. Ah. Oh. What is it that you're asking this MP for when it's the local uh, election? What is it that you're asking him to do? To represent you? What is he prom what, why have you chosen him? Because he's giving you darahim ma'duda, sah? He's giving you worldly gain. Hubbikum with dunya is because of love of this dunya. <coughs> so I say, my beloved brothers and sisters, those mafasid is enough for one person to say, you know what? Hasbuk, hasbuk. Stop, stop there, stop there, don't carry on. That's it. Why, why are you going to go extra points for? That's enough for us to realize. Now, inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to move on to the next point, which is At-Tariqatu, the path lead iqad al imamat al-Shari'ah. How is a Muslim leader appointed? How is a Muslim leader appointed? Is it through elections? Is it through democracy? What is the Islamic way of a leader to be chosen? I hope 
that the chapter before, the Mafasid al Intikhabat, is sufficient. I left so much other points. I've left many other Mafasid that he has, just so we can, inshallah ta'ala, uh, move on to the other chapters and find uh, comfort and, and uh, extra knowledge in those points.